Increase student engagement by using the screen share, whiteboard, and annotation tools during live Zoom classes. Hey, I'm Jessica and welcome to Being Classy. Tools like share screen, whiteboard, and annotations in Zoom are great components to consider adding as part of your overall engagement strategy in virtual learning. This video will show these tools being used in Zoom specifically. I will go through these tools for Google Meets in another video, so be sure to subscribe to my channel in order to stay up to date with all my new content. Let's jump in. Making the most of your tool. If your school is using Zoom for online learning, you can increase student engagement by getting your students actively involved in the learning process. Not just watching, sitting, reading, or even sleeping, but participating and doing. Let's say you want students to engage in a warm-up activity or a brainstorming session. Consider sharing your whiteboard in your Zoom class to have students annotate the screen. Let's take a look at what this actually looks like. If you're in Zoom as the host, you can navigate down to the green share screen button. By navigating here, you'll have a few options. I wanna share my whiteboard. So I'm going to click whiteboard and share on the bottom right hand corner. Now, students are viewing this whiteboard. The toolbar will automatically appear on the host, whoever is sharing their screen. But this is what students will see, and you will need to prompt them to click on view options on the top, and then a drop down menu will come up. Tell them to click on annotate. By doing this, the Zoom toolbox will then appear on their screen. They'll have the capability to draw, type, or post stamps onto the whiteboard. You'll know that they found it when things start coming up on the whiteboard. If you notice here, a student has found their drawing tool. My free download that accompanies this video is a quick reference guide you can give to students or display in your Zoom room to better assist students to understand how to share screen, use the whiteboard and annotation tool. I love using the whiteboard to create graffiti walls. These are great for any ages, pre-K through 12 and even adults. Students can do this with you in a main room or they can do it on their own in breakout rooms. The great thing about Zoom is you can do this same thing when you are sharing your screen. Meaning, let's say you want to share a Google Slides presentation or a PowerPoint or really anything, even a YouTube video. So long as the annotation tool is on, which the host can control. A host can enable or disable annotations during the Zoom meeting and even see the names of who is adding to the board. To do this during a share screen, the host can click on more on the top right corner. By clicking on more, you'll have two options. The host can show names of annotators and the host can also disable attendee annotation. I know that this is really helpful in the chances that uh, whiteboard spamming occurs in your Zoom rooms. So to annotate on something like a Google Slides, you're gonna go ahead and click on the share screen the same way that you did for the whiteboard. Instead of clicking whiteboard, you're going to click on the application that's open. Note that your application you're looking to share, such as something on Google Chrome or a PowerPoint presentation, has to be open on your computer in order for it to appear on the share screen. So I'm gonna click on this Google Chrome extension and share my screen. Here's my Google Slides. My students can now do the same thing by annotating on this shared screen. So if you notice here, a student is annotating the shared Google slide. This is really helpful if you want students to add annotations to your information. Please note that when sharing an application like Google Slides or anything else, if you go to the next slide, your annotations will follow. So if it's an annotation you need to save, be sure to save it. Going back to that slide, you can click on save on the top right hand corner. It'll automatically be saved to your Zoom folder on your desktop. You then can clear the board and move on to the next screen. 
It will take time for you and your students to get comfortable using these tools, but over time, it will become second nature, just like writing on the chalkboard. I have created a quick reference guide that you can share with your students to give them visual instructions on how to do this. These guides are available for download on my website for free. Just click on the link in the description below to navigate to my blog post and click download quick reference guide. The small extra time it'll take to download these guides will save you and your students time down the road, not having to repeat instructions over and over again. So that's a brief overview of a great way to get students engaged in your virtual classroom. Try it out in your live sessions and let me know how it's going in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for a lot more ideas on how to keep students engaged in virtual learning classrooms.